Hi, this is Kathy Johnson from Pyramid of Potential. This is lesson two of the Harnessing Learning Potential series. Today we're talking about body health. When I'm talking about body health, um, we're talking about um, nutrition as one of the things. And the best foods for every meal include a source of protein and a source of glucose. You see, the brain's fuel is glucose. The best forms of glucose are fruits and vegetables. The worst forms, hmm, those sugary foods, pastries, pasta, white potatoes, basically anything that tastes good. <laughs> anyway, um, we do need a good source of glucose. And so um, some, there are some things that you shouldn't include in your nutrition. And that includes, first of all, trans fats. Those are those partially hydrogenated oils. Uh, and when, when we're trying to create new connections in the brain, which is basically learning, then we want to be using the best forms of fat. The brain is made up of mostly fat and water, and so we need to have fat when we're eating our food. The best form of fat is omega-3s found in salmon and flaxseed and um, you know certain vitamins that you can buy. The worst forms of fat is the partially hydrogenated oils, also called, called trans fats. The reason why they're bad is they're man-made elongated molecules that when making connections in the brain uh, between neurons, uh, these make really poor connections. They're slippery, they're slow, Whereas those omega-3s are natural fats, they're compact molecules, and they're fast. Uh, another thing that's not good for the brain is too much sugar. Okay? I've heard from the majority of uh, educators that I speak to, they've told me that they have actually seen, within 15 minutes of eating sugary foods, that their students are literally bouncing off the walls and racing around the room. And yet, I've got to tell you, the research does not show that sugar affects the brain. You know, who knows? You know, because glucose is a form of sugar. And yet, that's the fuel for the brain. So, let's talk about some other things in nutrition that's important. Remember, the brain is made up mostly of fat and water. So water is really important. If you're um, thirsty, you're already dehydrated. First thing that goes away when you're dehydrated is your ability to concentrate. So one way of improving test scores for your students or your children is to make sure that they drink lots and lots of water. Another thing that's important for body health is exercise. Today, there is so much research showing the importance of exercise and how just by exercising at least three times a week, uh, doing vigorous walking for at least 20 minutes, that you can actually improve your memory. And they're showing this with the aging population. So can you imagine how well this would work with our student population? Yeah, so even just getting up and marching around the room is going to be good. Finally, good sleep is important. Uh, if somebody has learning disabilities and is sleep deprived, it actually makes all their symptoms worse. So let's educate the parents and the students themselves about the importance of sleep. And that's it for today. Thank you.